see, because on today I stay here at 11 years, pancreatic cancer survived. Yeah. You had six months to live. I begin to turn my face into the wall. And I begin to say, God, I have not yet begun to do all that you wanted me to do. Men have not seen the Christ in me. When you get a diagnosis like that, yes. that's a dreary diagnosis. Yes, yes, yes.
right here. Yes, yes, yes. Because without Hallelujah. Come on, keep on going, keep going, keep going. Hallelujah. Because no matter what may happen, yes. He said he never leaves you. Yes. Nor forsaken. Yes. And let me tell you, all sickness yes. is not unto death. That's you right. might be sick, sick. It's not unto death. You might be sick in your body. It's not unto death. You get on your knees. You might be sick in your finances. And you have to get on your knees and turn some things around. You have to make a budget. But all sickness is not unto death. I don't care what the doctor say. I'm a cancer survivor. diminishing your shine. Yes. Here's the thing. My doctor kept saying, you're depressed. I said, I am depressed. Christians don't get depressed. I have Jesus. I don't get depressed. Yeah. But after multiple times, I kept going to the doctor and I felt myself, I'm being real, could not get out the bed. Yes, yes. Did not, my, my children are grown, but I spoiled them. Mm. Could not cook for my children. Yes. I began to pray and say, Lord, what is it? Yes, he said, you are depressed because here's why. Mm -hmm. I'm a nurse by profession. They told me, listen to what I say, they mm -hmm. told me. Yes, yes. If you get this open heart surgery, 12 weeks and we guarantee you'll be back to work. I've been out of work for five years. Yes. But God has taken care of me every step of the way. Yes. God has provided for me every step of the yes. way. And so I was depressed because I had lost the job that I loved. Yes. I was a school nurse. I loved my kids. Yes. And I was depressed because I didn't feel like I had no purpose. Yes. But God began to say, I have given you purpose. All right, all right. Because I have given you new life. Yes. And some things that I needed you to do for me, yes. you were so tied up and busy on your job. Yes. But not saying that I allowed this to happen, but guess what? We talk more. Yes. Yes. I'm loving on you more. Yes. Things are beginning to turn around. Yes. You begin to see why when I say wait, you need to wait. And so, yes, depression will come. Yeah. And it will set in. But I'll tell you, here's the key. I am on medication. People, Black people don't say that. Mm. But I'm going to say it. Yeah. Black people don't say that. I am on medication. Yeah. Yes, I am. Yes. And I take that once a day. But I take Jesus 24 hours a day. Yes. Yes. yes, I do. Yes. I take Jesus 24 hours a day. Whether I'm praying, praising, singing, I can't sing, but I, I hmm, I'll show me a lot of abs in that mirror. Singing, my wall, I have cars on my wall. You can do all things because Christ gives you the strength. Yes. But then I turned it around, Demina can do all things. Yes. Because Christ gives me strength. Yes. I begin to turn around and say, by his stripes, Demina is healed. Yes. I do have a therapist. But I'm going to tell you, I therapy her more than she therapy me. <laughs> but that's been all my therapists. I say, so tell me what's wrong with you. <laughs> Let's see what the word says about that. And they look at like, well, yeah, the word. Let me, let me get it up for you. See, the word says, you don't have to deal with that. But see, that's the purpose that God has for me. So how would you deal with depression and anxiety? Turn it over to the Lord. Yes. Find you some scriptures and begin to yes. eat the scriptures. Amen. I'm talking about eat the scriptures. Yes. Well, it say John for God to live and I got it. No, eat the scriptures. Yes. Know what they say inside and out. 
Tell them old school. I believe in index cards. Get you some index cards. Wherever you go, take them with you. You standing in the grocery store line, pull them out. You at the red light, pull them out. Be careful now. Pull them out at the red light. When it turned green, got to go. But begin to eat the scriptures. Put them on your bathroom wall. Amen. Listen, put them on your stairs. You got some stairs, put them up there. Amen. That's how you begin to defeat the enemy. Yeah. See, because John 10.10 10 says the enemy comes to steal, kill, yes. and destroy. Amen. But I came that you may have life. See? Life and health go together. Amen. See, because if you don't got life, you don't got health. Yeah. And he said, I came to give it to you in abundance mm -hmm. and overflow. Amen. 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 So I'm, this is the second one I'm going to do. Number seven. Whatever you overcome, you've been given authority over. Amen. How have you been able to help someone overcome an issue you overcame? Cancer is cancer is cancer. Yes, it is. It's no big cancer, no little cancer. It's just cancer. It's invading your body. It's eating you up from the inside out. And so now, be, now that I can talk about it, because there was a time I didn't want to talk about it. Because I had remorse. Because I lived and others died. So I had remorse. Why didn't you keep them, Jesus? Why didn't I hear? And I'm talking about after the Steve Jobs thing. I still had remorse. But I began to say, not my will, but God's be done. And so now I begin, you know, when people know that someone has cancer, they'll call me. Can you talk to them and tell them? And what I say is I'm going to give you the formula that I did. But it's according to your faith. It ain't according to my faith. It's according to your faith. It's according to how you're going to believe. It's according to what you're going to do.